Hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, it's Toddlers in the Shop Part 2. Well, my granddaughter had such a great time with Toddlers in the Shop, the first episode that she has been asking ever since if she can come back and make a show with Pop. And of course, who am I to say no? It just takes time to prep these things. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make one of the most basic of basic beginner woodworking projects. It's a great way to get the kids involved and interested in woodworking. It's something that almost all of us as experienced woodworkers have made, and that would be a birdhouse. So let's head over to the bench and I'll show you what I've got in mind for today. Well, when it comes to working with toddlers in the shop, as I said in the first episode of the show, you need to have most of the prep work done. You need this thing to be quick because their attention span is so little. You don't want to bore them. You don't want to force them into doing it. The whole project will be made from cheap lumber, and this is just uh, some three-quarter inch thick pine from the big box store. Uh, it's four and a half roughly wide, about four feet long. It is about as straight as a soccer ball, typical um, big box store lumber. So what we're going to do is I'm going to joint this and try to get it flat and we are going to take it down to a thickness of half an inch because I think three quarters is a little uh, too much for a birdhouse. Well, I have two pieces of our half inch thick stock and I have cut them to six and a quarter inches long. And as I said, they're roughly four and a half inches wide. So we're going to put one of those aside because we need to do some layout uh, on one of the pieces. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place a mark from this is actually the bottom of our birdhouse up here. Um, and I'm going to place a mark at three and a half inches up from the bottom. I'm also going to place a rough center mark, roughly two and three sixteenths. And then we're going to come out from that center mark an inch and a half of either in either direction. Now this is going to represent the bottom dimension of our birdhouse. So I've set my bevel here to 10 degrees and we're going to place a mark from that little line here that we just put at one and a half inches. We're going to place a 10 degree line from that all the way up to our line at three and a half inches. And we'll do the same thing from the other mark. Now something that we can do here while we have this center line and everything is still square is we can just draw on this one, one center line all the way up uh, to the top so that we can drill our hole a little later for the bird entry hole. But now guys, we only need to do the layout on the one side because at this point now, we're going to take this over to the table saw. We're gonna set our miter fence at the 10 degrees and we're gonna cut these corners off on each one of our pieces. Well at this point what I've done is I have drawn a 45 degree line right down to meet up with our line here at three and a half inches up from the bottom and I have set my miter fence at 45 degrees. I have set my stop to line up so that the blade strikes right at that mark that I just placed for 45 and we are going to cut all of our peaks of our birdhouse. All we have to do now is just one setup. So you'll cut the one side and once you get that you're going to rotate your piece, completely flip it over and you should just be able to follow through with the cut and it will make a perfect peak at the top of both pieces. And with those two pieces cut, we now want to take this over to the router table. And what I'm going to do is on the inside edge of each piece, I'm going to route a rabbit that is going to be a quarter of an inch deep and half an inch in on the board, just like that. And it'll just run on this edge of the board, on each of them, on the inside 
edge. Now guys, those rabbits will eventually house the sides of our birdhouse. However, we want something to house the bottom of the birdhouse. So we're going to do the exact same rabbit here at the bottom of each one of our pieces, on the bottom inside edge. Well, we now want to cut the sides of our birdhouse. So I have two pieces of the half inch pine here. I've made these four and a quarter inches wide. And what I've done is I've set the table saw blade to tilt at 10 degrees. That will match the angle of our side pieces. And I'm going to cut it um, to be about 3 16 of an inch less than what we need for the sides. So these pieces are going to fit in line with the bottom of our birdhouse. Uh, that 10 degree angle is going to make it so that it leaves the bottom flat but cutting it that 3 16 of an inch short before this edge of the peak here, that is going to provide ventilation between the roof and the sidewall. So with that being said, and we have now our saw still set at our 10 degrees, we're going to cut our base. And guys, I don't think we need a video of it. It's a simple cut at 10 degrees on each side. We've already got the saw set and we'll cut our wedge to fit in here perfectly. And there is our bottom. So we can just do a little bit of a dry fit here. All right. And look at that. The, uh, the framework is really coming together nicely there. That looks great. Well, the last piece that I have cut here, or the last pieces, are the roof pieces. Now, I have cut it out of the same half inch thick pine. This is five and three quarters of an inch long, which will leave a half inch overhang at the front and the back. I have cut it on one side to 45 degrees, and the length here from the tip of this 45 to the end is four and a quarter inches. This one here is cut to the same thickness and the same length. However, the width is a half an inch less. So it is actually three and three quarter. And that will sit there like this on the roof. Now it's a little odd the way I've done that joinery there, but there is a purpose behind it. The purpose is it gives us a flat surface here that we can mount a little eye bolt here to hang our birdhouse. But as well, we can screw in this side panel so that if birds should nest into our birdhouse, this panel can be removed for cleaning and getting uh, all of the debris out of there once the birds are finished. So guys, at this point in time now, we need to drill the access hole for the birds. And that will be in our front piece here. We did the center line already. I'm going to do a couple circles drawn on here to see what um, dimension I want to put them at. But I'm thinking this will be the center point right about here, about a half an inch below our cross line here. Um, and I'm thinking it will be between a one inch and an inch and a quarter hole. I'll probably do an inch and a quarter. Well, as well as drilling the inch and a quarter diameter hole here for the bird entry, I have drilled six three eighths diameter holes in the base for drainage. Should water get in there, we don't want our little feathered friends to drown. So we have a way for the water to drain out. Uh, guys, I'm also going to put a 1 8 inch round over around the inside edge and outside edge of this entry hole. And we're going to give everything a good sanding. And then all we really need is our toddler. Well, we have all the preparation done. We have all the pieces cut. We have our toddler. And now we just have to do the assembly. So let's head over to the bench. Well, for this project being one that's outside, we're going to be using Type Bond 3. Now, the Type Bond 3 has a couple properties that are going to help us here. One of them will be its waterproof properties for being outside. And the other one is the extra working time that you're going to need for a toddler to be able to spread glue on a project like a birdhouse. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get her to spread a little bit of glue. And what I want you to do, honey, can you paint glue along here in this section right here? 
please think of it. Okay, so dip some glue and paint mm -hmm. right here, right along this line. Put lots of glue there. Here, I'll help you. I'll help you. Like this. Get lots of glue there. And then we we'll get more glue. Glue. And you want to paint right up in here, like this. A little more and paint, just like that. Can you do it on this second piece? Where's this part? Paint right here. Turn it over. All kinds of glue in there. Here, more. Bob, how do you snore? How do I snore? Yeah. Well, I have to be asleep to snore. Are you going to put some glue in here? Okay, paint right here. Right here. One. Now guys, with this being mostly a glue up project, uh, it can be messy, but take your time, have some patience. The Type On 3 is going to help you um, with somebody who is not as patient. <laughs> So I want you to take this piece now, and we're going to stick it right in here. Can you push it in there where the glue goes? And we're going to sit that right there. And then I want you to paint a little bit of glue on top of here. Paint it on. Yep. And same on the other side, right here at the top. A little closer to the top, honey. Do you need more glue? Right here at the top, look. Okay, can you take the other piece, this one, and sit it just like I just put this one? So sit it there. Where? Right on top where you just put that glue. Kind of. Here, help me. Just like this. And now we're going to, as she just said, we're going to do the wall parts. So, wall part time. Wall time. so I need you to paint some glue right along here. Yep. No, just at the bottom. Right here at the bottom, look. Okay, we're going to do the other wall. I don't know what is. So can you please paint some glue along here? Yeah. Could you please paint some glue along here? Uh, do you need more glue in that container? I want some more glue glue. Do you need some help? Yeah, some glue glue. What about this piece? And we'll slide that piece into place. Uh, at this point, guys, we're going to clamp this up. And hopefully, we'll let this dry for just a little bit, just to give the glue a chance to set. Turn it. Yeah. Turn. Turn. A little more. It's hard as you can. One more, one more little turn. See if you can do it. Perfect. Wow, that was a good one. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now we got to do the next step. Well, truth be told, the first half of this glue up didn't really go that well. I've got a three and a half year old that is not really cooperating, but we got it glued together. There is a heck of a lot of squeeze out uh, all over the place. It's way too late for me to try to clean that up now. But at this point, what we want to do is we're going to screw on our removable section of our roof. Here I am. So now, oh, we've got our toddler back. So I am not 100% sure of the dexterity here. Is it charging? Um, no, it's filming, baby. That's <laughs> filming. It means it's taking your picture. Give a big smile. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how well she's going to do with a screwdriver, but I'm just I'm going to get it started for you, sweetie, and then you can do it all by yourself. So I'm just going to get them started in the holes. Of course, I've drilled pilot holes. Um, to make this an easier process for little fingers. So I'm just going to sit this in place.
Okay, so you go ahead. That's the one I'm filming. I'll help you. This is the one I'm filming. Okay. okay I can do that. I'm just holding it so that it doesn't come out because sometimes it's hard. But you can turn it. Can I help you straighten this a bit? Okay. Okay, there you go. Now it's in. Go ahead, turn it. Little I wouldn't. Okay, little Miss Independent. And that's quite okay. If she wants to be independent and do this, then she can. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of independence. Okay, go ahead. It's ready for you again. Now this could take a while, so I don't think we need to film the whole thing, guys. We're going to get her to screw in all four of these screws to get this removable section attached to the birdhouse. I can't do this. Now her amount of skill with a glue brush is not the best. We need to be careful that we're not applying glue to our removable section and that we don't put it so close that it's going to seep up through and glue our removable section in place. So I'm just going to place a piece of masking tape here so that we can mask out the areas and she's not putting glue where it shouldn't be. Like where? <laughs> like where I just put that like tape. Like under all the green. So we're going to give her a little bit more glue. Do you need, do you need more glue? Yeah. Of course you do. So here, we'll give you more glue. And what I want you to do is very carefully, I want you to paint right here and right here with the glue, please. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a good job. What about we start on the tape? Okay, get a little more. Yeah, okay. you can start on the tape if you want, but you're probably better to paint on the wood. Yep, that one's really good. And now do it on this side as well. Start the paint. Yeah, start at the tape and then work your way down. There you go. A little more on this side. Can you get a little more and put it on, on the right side? Perfect. Good job. Just let it dry. So now, we're just going to take away this tape. I'm going to just take my finger and Papa. take some of the excess out of there. And I get the feeling she's going to have a little bit of difficulty with the alignment on this roof. But do you want to help me with the alignment here? You want me to help me put this roof on? Okay. Okay. And we'll just sit that on there. <gasps> what do we make? And guys, now we can just clamp this together and we will let it sit and dry up. Now, because we weren't able to clean up the squeeze out due to somebody being uh, uncooperative, <laughs> We'll have to use we'll have to use a chisel to clean that off, and uh, then we can give the whole thing a good sanding. What's a chisel? And there you have it. And there you have it. Toddlers in the shop, part two. Two. <laughs> Guys, this did not go as well as planned. Um, Somebody is a little rambunctious today. Somebody has a lot more energy than what is really uh, ideal for a project out here. But we managed to get it fi finished. And excuse me, excuse me, we, we are filming here. <laughs> so, but we managed to get the project finished and it's clamped up now waiting to dry. Now in the top, that 45 degree angle that we cut on the top of it, we've put a couple of eye bolts there that we can hang uh, the birdhouse from a tree. I will be giving it some coats of varnish, but honestly guys, even if somebody, <clears throat> that's you, is not cooperative, it's still time out in the shop. It's still memories that they're going to have. You may say it's not woodworking because all she did was spread a bit of glue, but in her mind, she is woodworking just as much as if she cut all the pieces by herself. Guys, you have to be your own judge. Bye. How old is your child? Can they handle the tools? Can they do a little extra work? Three you, and a half. You're three and a half, exactly. So that three and a half year old really can't be handling any of the tools that made this project work. Maybe the drill press on the next one. Maybe we'll see how that goes. But you need to get that attention span a little longer before you can get more involved with the projects. As it is now, apparently, spreading glue is a chore. <laughs> it's a 
It's a glue chore. It's a glue chore, right. So either way, pack your patience and loads of it and make sure you get your toddlers in the shop. Guys, this is truly a fun project. It's one that they can be proud of. And it's also one that will instill the love of woodworking, the love of crafting, and the love of spending time in the shop. And isn't that what it's really all about? Okay, do it. <laughs> Guys, I wanna thank you so much for tuning in this week. I hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, frustrating as it was. I hope you've enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. You click the bell and then you're not going to miss the notifications of future episodes of the program. Guys, I want to thank you again for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the content. I hope you're going to get your toddlers in the shop. And more importantly, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another woodworking video. Woodworking video. <laughs> Woodworking video.